Nijan has met the two British scientists, Professors Sarah Gilbert and Andrew Pollard, who created the breakthrough coronavirus Oxford vaccine. Prime Minister Boris Johnson has called their work brilliant. Ricky caught up, Ricky caught up with them over video call. Professor Andrew and Professor Sarah, thank you so much for talking to Newsround. We know it's been an incredibly busy year for you both, but could you just try and explain what is it that you've been doing this year? We've been making a vaccine against the new coronavirus that nobody knew existed until the very beginning of the year. But very soon after finding out that it did exist, it's travelled around the world and infected people in pretty much every country. And we need a vaccine to stop people getting infected and getting seriously ill with this disease. And Andy, uh, what's the year been like for you? Well, it's uh, been a, a very busy year because our job has been to try and work out whether the vaccine that we've been developing here in Oxford actually protects people against the virus. And to do that, we've had more than 10,000 people take part in a testing trials here in the UK and another 10,000 in other countries. That testing has shown the vaccine does work, so we are able to prevent coronavirus infection and perhaps getting the world back to normal during 2021. Can you tell us what is in the vaccine? We used another virus to make a vaccine against the coronavirus. So there's a virus called an adenovirus. We've taken some of its genes away and that means it's really safe and it doesn't give people a cold anymore. Add in a bit of the coronavirus and then that makes the coronavirus spike protein after we've vaccinated somebody. And so we use the adenovirus that we've modified to take the gene for the coronavirus spike protein inside the body and then that spike protein gets made and the immune system can make antibodies and T cells. Then the antibodies can recognise it and destroy the coronavirus, uh, stop it causing infection and stop people getting ill. And I think that's the thing that's really exciting about vaccines. It's actually about education. We're educating our immune system so that when we really meet the virus, we're ready to fight. Are you concerned about the deliberate false information about the vaccines that's, that has been pushed by some people, things that aren't necessarily true? Are you worried about that? There have been a lot of um, strange stories about what's in vaccines, for example. Don't necessarily believe everything people tell you. Maybe question some of these stories. Um, but it, it clearly is, is, is dangerous because the, the scientific um, advances that we've had this year, and there have been many um, across medicine uh, to try to help fight the virus. Anything that undermines that, undermines the health um, of our population, our families, our grandparents. Can we talk about how effective this particular vaccine is? Because there are a few out there. We've heard a few different statistics. It is actually quite difficult to compare one with another because the, the trials are being done differently and in different countries. It's, it's great having vaccines that we know are effective, but we need to get people vaccinated with them. Because when lots of people have had a vaccine and they have immunity to a disease, then the virus starts to find it really hard to spread in the population. And that's when you start to see the disease really going away. But uh, in the end, the important point is that these vaccines work and they will prevent uh, the uh, severe uh, forms of the infection. Um, no, for, for me, this is a really uh, important moment because we can see light at the end of the tunnel as a result of uh, these developments.